I'm with Declan Boner here. We're two weeks out from an All-Ireland semi-final. This is a man who's played in an All-Ireland final at senior level and won a championship. And uh, I'm going to chance saying you're probably as excited about the prospect that, that, that's in place for two weeks as you were back in 1992, perhaps. Yeah, it's great, Charlie. You know, a lot of work has gone in over the last couple of years with, with, with this group of players and uh, really looking forward to it now. And uh, it's great to see these lads. You know, with, I took them 14, 15 year olds at uh, divisional level onto 16, 17, now and 18, and see these young lads growing into, into strong young men and really performing really well and uh, you know what I think the future for Donegal is looking good because I would envisage a lot of these guys can go on to play senior football. Yeah we listened to Jim earlier on and he was very complimentary about the work you've done with the minors and it's interesting Declan that you took these guys on at under 16 through of course under 17 now to minor level and their, their, their record is fantastic. Is that the way we have to go and I suppose the results that we've had in recent times would suggest it's the only way to go? I think so Charlie. I met with, with the people involved three years ago and I set out this was, this was the way to go. We have to have some continuity in terms of getting the people involved to, to take these guys from 15 to 16 to 17 to 18, they know these guys, they know what they're made of and uh, I mean, we've done that and uh, hopefully we've set the template there now that this is the way to go and uh, for too long Donegal football, especially at minor level, just didn't didn't produce the, the results that the players, that there's definitely good players always coming through in Donegal and I think that, uh, you know, in the past we looked at Tyrone, we looked at uh, Derry and they were saying the college's football is very strong in the north and that's why Donegal, to me, that's only excuses. That's putting excuses in the way. If you look after what you have, get the proper, the proper structure and 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 place. Then Donegal, Donegal minors should be competing every year at Ulster minor level. There's no doubt they should be. And that doesn't guarantee you're going to win it every year, but you should be up there competing every year. Yeah. You know? Let's just look at this year. I mean, this team, I feel, set the marker down in the first half at Celtic Park that day because you've just mentioned it. Derry and Tyrone have great reputations at minor level, but th this team showed in the first half that day, Declan, a little bit of a blip in the second half when they allowed Derry to come into it. Just the quality was there. And I suppose if we look at the matches uh, up to date, the four matches you've played, they've been outstanding at times, and then sometimes they've struggled a little bit. Not unexpected from minors, perhaps. Definitely not, Charlie. And, I mean, when, when we spoke with this group of players uh, back at Bunkran, a cup level at under 16 level. I mean, the one thing I did say to the players was that every time that I seen minor teams in the past looking at Derry or looking at Tyrone, that they thought these were superhumans, and every day they went out, they were already beat before they went out to play them. But we changed that. We changed that mentality, and we played Derry in, in Bunkrana Cup. We beat them. We played Tyrone in the final of that Bunkrana Cup. We beat them in the final, and the same thing happened then at 17 level. So these these players have a fear of no team. You know, they go out, they work extremely hard. But you're right, we haven't played for 60 minutes in any of the games. Uh, it's very difficult because the opposition will always get a, a period of the dominance nation that's how you respond when the opposition get on top and uh, you know we've come through two tight matches especially the, the Derry match that started the second half yeah. you know we let it slip and Derry came back to it in two points the same in last day against Roscommon and uh, but listen, we've got over the line. The lads deserve to be where they're at. They put in a huge amount of effort and really looking forward to the Dublin match. Yeah. I mean, the Rush Coven game was a frustrating game the way they played. You went and watched Dublin in the semi final, which was a high scoring game, Declan. Would that suggest that they're not going to throw up a defensive blanket like we saw against Ross Common? They're going to come out and play. And might I suggest if they do, that'll suit you very well? Well, it will in a, in a way. We, we, we've played Dublin. We played this Dublin team at, at 16, 17, and minor. We play, actually played them two months ago in a, in a friendly match in Cavan and a really, really high tempo uh, challenge, it was, uh, it was uh, anything yeah, but, but match, exactly yeah. Yeah. and it ended up with a draw that match and it was really both teams were, were, were at, f at full strength and uh, really good match and there's very little between the two teams, they beat us at 17 I think uh, by a couple of points in Sligo last year and then we beat them at 16 so there's very little between the teams but it was completely different, we left Roscommon that day, it was at our Sligo, really wet, horrible conditions, uh, Mark of its parks a tight pitch, Roscommon just threw 12 bodies back behind it, but made it very, very difficult. Uh, I went down on the, on the Monday to Turles, really gorgeous day, sun shining. Cork went to play football, Dublin went to play football. But Jim made a point there, but I mean, they're talking about the Dublin, uh, the offensive side of the Dublin game and they're brilliant going forward. But I mean, they defend really, really well. So they're a kind of template for the, the, of the senior team that they work really hard. A lot of good players, a lot of marquee forwards, really outstanding. They've got O'Callaghan guy full forward and Pascal at centre half, really good players. And uh, so it's going, to be an, it's going to be an interesting match, but it's one we know that if we do bring our, our best performance and uh, one that I know that we're capable of, that we're capable of winning it. And Declan, getting their heads right, because they are minors, they are an experience, mm. it's going to be a huge occasion. The Donegal supporters are going to be in early to Crow Park in a couple of weeks' time and they're going to be fantastic support. And no matter how good a footballer you are, 
the pit of your stomach is going to be telling you this is this is something special here. There's no doubt about that there, and we, we we've done a lot of work with that there. In fairness, Anthony McGrath, who's done a huge amount of work in terms of sports psychology over the last six months with these lads, and he's been working away with these guys. And I don't think I, I think they, you know that they they they're very mature, very mature bunch of of players. And uh, okay, it will probably affect maybe one or two, and we just have to keep an eye on that. But uh, I think the majority will be spot on. Uh, as I said, a lot of work has gone on on on, on the mental side of it, and uh, as well as the physical side. And the lads are in good shape. And uh, you know they're really, really looking forward to it. And I think it's going to be a great, great occasion. And you mentioned the Donegal supporters being absolutely brilliant. Uh, in the past, maybe Donegal supporters come in to watch minor teams would come in just maybe before the senior team. But these guys have come in to support us. Also, final was brilliant. Great support last in and, and, and Sligo. And again, the appeal will go out to make sure that they're in the Crow Park early, and uh, you know, make sure that, that we get that support, and that'll give, maybe give us that 16th man because the, the Dublin Hill will be fairly filling yeah. up come the second half of the game. You know. And finally, taking a big responsibility on you and your, on your team as well, because you have a very strong panel. You've used your subs very, very well. You're going to have to do that again in Crow Park uh, and react to what's happening out there. But at least you know you have the strength and depth to do that when required. Yeah, no doubt about it, Charlie. And I mean, we have a strong squad, and it's going to take 21, 21 players on 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 on, uh, on Sunday week when we play Dublin. And uh, because Crow Park is very expansive, uh, it's, it can be very draining on the legs, especially young lads coming into playing playing on that park for the first time. And it will definitely take the bench and it's going to take a, a huge effort from each and everyone involved but it's a, it's a, a test that we're looking forward to and uh, one that we know that we can get over the line on. Good luck with it Declan, thanks a million.